I'll be darned. So the zombie virus is actually gluten free. I never knew. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome back to the Mask Fanatic. Mask Fanatics, uh, you know, you know, kids, there have been a lot of great science fiction TV shows over the years uh, on this planet. There have been, oh, well, you know, and I enjoy a lot of them Star Trek and, and Doctor Who and The Prisoner and Babylon 5 and um, a lot of good sci fi shows over the years. But I think my favorite of all time would be the original Outer Limits from back in the 60s. And, uh, well, today's mask here in your old mask fanatic happens to be from a 1963 episode of The Outer Limits. The good, the black and white, the, the good Outer Limits. Not that one from the 90s where they just put any kind of story in there, but the consistent, smart, uh, cool uh, 1960s uh, Outer Limits. Had an episode, that program had an episode called The Sixth Finger. And this particular character... Uh, came to be referred to, strangely enough, as the Sixth Finger. Now, that's not really the character's name. The character's name in the script was Gwillem, which is not a very uh, scary and intimidating name, so, and nobody remembers it, and especially since he looks like his name would be, you know, Zark or something like that. Nobody really remembers the Gwillem thing, so everybody could go, oh, Six Finger, but that's not the character's name. That's the episode in which this spectacularly cool early sci-fi TV makeup appeared. Now, there have been several masked versions of the Sixth Finger character over the years, um, including a very nice one from Distortions Unlimited, which is very rare. Came out in, I believe, 1983 and uh, a less impressive, uh, cheaper version from Top Stone and, well, there's just been a number of them over the years and a number of um, individual uh, private artists have made Six Finger based or Six Finger inspired editions available. This particular one that you see before you, if you're still awake, came out in 1982, making it the very first Six Finger mask that um, was available on planet Earth and it was put out by the good folks at Death Studios. Now, again, the Distortions version looks an awful lot like this. It's hard to tell them apart. They're both great. Uh, but overall, the, the Death Studio version has always been my favorite. I think it has the slight edge over all the other versions, even though many of them are cool, too. Now, uh, this character, old Gwillem here in The Sixth Finger, was played by uh, David McCallum, an actor best known as uh, Ilya Kuryakin in the original Man From U.N.C.L.E. TV show. He's also been in tons of other things. You've seen uh, David McCallum uh, if you watch a lot of uh, sci-fi and horror type productions. You've seen him over the years. But anyway, uh, the Death Studios mask here from 82. That's an old mask, folks. The 82 Death Studios edition that you see here uh, used uh, actual molds from uh, the original makeup appliances created by the spectacularly, amazingly talented John Chambers, one of the greatest makeup artists ever to live. He really was. Uh, and he worked on everything back then. He's most famous for having come up with the makeups for the Planet of the Apes uh, movies, but he also worked on everything from back then, uh, from making uh, Mr. Spock's uh, pointed ear tips to uh, some, some uh, monsters for Lost in Space, uh, just all kinds of, uh, all kinds of coolness from John Chambers. Uh, but this, this particular beast here uh, not only has original molds incorporated into the production hereof, it also has uh, lips, see lips taken from a life cast of David McCallum, making it look an awful lot like um, the original piece from the, the show. Now this is extremely rare. There are very few of these made uh, probably fewer still have survived to today, but um, you may find one, you know, but here's the deal with that. If you're looking for something like this on eBay or on the mask websites or auction memorabilia websites or something like that, I've, I've noticed over the years online a couple of, uh, well, a couple of uh, phenomena relating to this. Uh, first of all, you've got the problem with the people who don't know any better and think that anything with a big head and pointed ears is the six finger character from Outer Limits. And a lot of people just think, oh, six finger Outer Limits, yeah, I've heard of that. And they think that's what it is if it has a big head and pointed ears. But a lot of times it isn't. A lot of times it would just be an original alien mask 
of a guy with a big head and pointed ears. Uh, for example, Distortions came out with a later one called 6000 AD, was the name of it. I've seen that one uh, sell as a six finger mask, even though the face is very different, the eyes, the lips are different. People associate the general uh, look of the features with this character, so they think that's what it is. But the first problem is that uh, confusion, and the second problem you might, want, you might run into when you're looking for one of these is the people who do know better and hope that you don't, and will try to pass off something that's really just a Halloween mask of a guy with a big head and pointed ears. They will try to pass it off as an Outer Limits six-finger head. So if you're going to buy one, take a good look at the details of it and make sure that it really is uh, one of the ones from Outer Limits. Uh, the, the detailing on this one is pretty amazing because although he does have some skin texture, he's very perfect and very smooth and it's really difficult to get clay to look this smooth and perfect. Okay, and uh, well that, that, that perfection, that very clean and even and, and polished look to the sculpture is uh, one of the identifying characteristics of the original by John Chambers for the Outer Limits episode. Some of the other uh, later versions that were just sort of inspired by this character but weren't re really supposed to be this exact character, some of them had more wrinkles, more texture, more lumpiness, you know, different, uh, different things going on to differentiate them. But uh, I, I hate to see you, the viewer, pay, you know, $62,000 for one of these because you thought it was uh, uh, one of these Outer Limits uh, six finger heads and actually you just got a Halloween mask of a guy with a big head. So so do a little research, take a good look at the details if you if you end up buying one. Again the Distortions one is fantastic also. There have been other versions by I believe David Ayers and uh, Steve Neal and uh, goodness knows who else folks but I'm sure there have been many but my favorite is the Death Studios version from 82 and uh, that, that takes care of your mask uh, adventure for today. And until next time we meet, remember, a penny saved is a government oversight.